and to educate the young people and newcomers to our community on the contributions that we have made as African Americans, people of color, in this community, because we were here first. Woo! I am Diane Pierman Pledge. That's my dad. William D. Pierman. I am happy to have my sisters with me today, representing the Pyramid family. We want you to know that this idea came out of 15 years of thinking what could be here in our community to represent our community. This was long before Black Lives Matter. This idea came apart um, through just seeing other things that were, were going on in communities and then finally, talking with the fantastic ladies of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, my chapter, Chapel Hill Carborough Area Women Chapter. When we talked about the project, they were ecstatic and felt like that it was much needed in our community and supported it full fold. Can I get the ladies? Just raise your hand, ladies. Yes, thank you. <laughs> then it was a matter of finding partners because projects like this, you need partners. And we were very grateful to talk with Susan Brown with the town of Chapel Hill, who stepped up and said, we are gonna find some more to get this done. And she went out and talked with all the other partners that you see on your program. And everyone was ecstatic. And we truly work together as partners in this art project, in this historical project. We tried to identify individuals that fell into certain categories, such as health, the arts and entertainment, politics, education, entrepreneurs, religion, and those individuals that stuck out to us and that some people may not even know about. This is the opportunity to tell some new stories. So if you don't know these people up here on this mural, please go to the website, Chapel Hill Historical, uh, backslash aatrailblazers.org, and you will be able to learn about each one of these amazing individuals. And we also have a rat card that has information, and we're not gonna go through all what all these people did, because we got family members in the audience. So I just want to take a quick opportunity to have family members stand. I did tell Mr. Robinson we don't have time for speeches today. So we, we're going to plan other programs. Look, I call Mr. Robinson out. 
We're going to have other programs over the next year and more once COVID sort of moves on out the way so that we all as community can talk about not just these individuals, but more individuals in our community. But we have Valerie Page for she and her family. Raise your hands. Give me a hoop hoop or so. <laughs> Wonderful. Addie Robinson's family. Wow, they all they down here. They was here when I got here. <laughs> Nurse Adeline Compton. Any of her family members here? Barbara Boo Powell. Any family members here? Classmate. Say a classmate. All right. Bonham and Susie Weaver family. Mayor Howard and me. William D. Pierman family. <laughs> Reverend Dr. J. R. Manley. <laughs> the Walter Winsby family. Dr. L. H. Hackney, family. Thurman Atkins, family. All right. And let me say, we would not even have this mural up here if it wasn't for the Walter Rigsby family. Because <laughs> Pauline has been a part of the partnership and the family, and when we told there wall, she was just so, she was smiling more than I was. <laughs> and we were so grateful. So it's truly community. It's truly community. So the last thing I'm going to do, because my sorrows know I talk too much. Okay, I know. Come on. Come on. All right, I'm getting ready to do a call and response. Okay, y'all know we have call and response. So when I say we remember them, They need to hear you. In the rising of the sun and in its going down, we remember them. In the blowing of the wind and in the chill of the winter, we remember them. In the opening of buds and in the rebirth of spring, we remember them. In the blueness of the sky and in the warmth of the summer, we remember them. We remember them. In the rustling of leaves and in the beauty of autumn, we remember them. We remember them. In the beginning of the year and when it ends, we remember them. We remember them. When we are weary and in need of strength, we remember them. We remember them. When we are lost and sick in heart, we remember them. We remember them. When we have joys we yearn to share, we remember them. We remember them. A final benediction, we remember them. We remember them. So long as we live, they shall live too, for they are now a part of us, and we remember them. We remember them. Thank you. Um, I have instructions. I'm supposed to bring up. I am bringing up our illustrious president of the Chapel Hill Carball Area Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta, President Gemma Bowler.
years ago, and they did not let it go. They held on to the vision, they held on to that commitment, and so I would just like to say thank you to the project chairs for bringing this to fruition. And I know as Jane Garrett has already welcomed you and the families and the sponsors, I would just like to take this time to say thank you. Thank you to the donors. Thank you to our partners, the towns, Chapel Hill and Harbor Road. Thank you to the Rogers family for donating this beautiful building for this mural. Thank you to the family. Thank you to the families who have journeyed near and far. Thank you for coming down and being a part of this with us. So we are definitely fortunate to have this mural in this community as a sign of our history, of our history and our heritage. Now we will go into our dedication. Dedication of the African American Trailblazers mural. This mural is not just brick and mortar, drywall and paint. It is more, it is much more. It is not just shingles and siding and bricks and cement. There is something else that makes this mural unique, even sacred. This mural is made of dreams and hopes, laughter and fears. It is a product of our great past and our blazing vision for the future of our free faith. This mural is a resting place for our spirits when we are weary from the busyness of the world. It is a place of growth and challenge where we are free to doubt and question the two easy answers that we sometimes settle for. It is a place of love and safety where hearts and minds can connect despite differences. It is a place of truth and a courage that is sometimes needed to see the truth. This mural is a place of beauty, of music, art, poetry and dance, of endurance, of sacrifices, of love, of peace, of joy, of yearning, of hopes and dreams and fortitude. It is a place of learning and exploration and challenge. Today we dedicate the African American Trailblazers mural as the home of our ancestors, as an inspiration to our youth to excel without regret. May all who come to view it find solace from the spirit that they have left within us. This mural is not just spirit and this mural is a sacred place because it offers us the space to share our heritage of our beloved community for all people of all ages, all religions, and all backgrounds. Today we are filled with joy and gratitude as we dedicate the African American Trailblazers mural to the wider world. Thank you to the committee who picked me to do it. 
um, the town of Chapel Hill people, uh, the partners, the donors, and especially all of the people who stopped by as I was working to chat a little bit um, and give encouragement and ask me questions about what I was doing. If anybody saw this mural in the early stages, like around early to mid-July, you probably saw a bunch of crazy looking numbers and letters and you were probably like, what in the world is going on? Um, I just want to go ahead and uh, explain that that was uh, a brick uh, so that I knew where to place each person and so I could set it up and uh, make it look nice. Um, honestly, I could spend a long time talking about the process of printing and getting the design approved and painting, but I, I won't bore you to tears about all the art things. Um, I just really would like to say that my favorite part of the process was really learning about people in this mural and their connections to this local community and getting to talk to their family members that are keeping their memory alive, the ones that are not here to this day. As the triangle continues to attract groves of people and businesses come and go and all of that, everything continues to change and shift. We need to keep these stories alive by sharing our memory and our history and what these people have done to make this community uh, a better place. I feel overwhelmed at being able to help make that happen and to really see that this mural takes on a life of its own. I also want to give a quick thanks to uh, Bobby for giving me water bottles and making sure I didn't go hungry. <laughs> and bothering his customers if their vehicles happen to be in my way. Um, I'm very sorry about that also. Uh, and really just thank you to all of you that are here right now in this present moment. All I ever ask is that we pay it for and look out for people in our community and stay connected. Thank you for listening. And now I will pass this along to Senator Valerie Pucci so she can say a few words. I drive up, I come back over there, she said, I get, all I needed was five minutes. All I needed was five minutes because I didn't want to bother her because she was in her artistic mode. And But I'd come check on her and it was just so delightful to see community members come by and check on her too. Um, but in grad, we just want to let you know how much we love you, how much we thank you for your artistic work that you have given our community. When we gave you those names and those pictures, we didn't know what we were going to get, but we were praying. <laughs> and when she came back with that first draft, we said, okay, that's good. <laughs> and then she did not mind when we said, well, you need to change this, and you need to add this, and they too dark, or they too light, or we missing something. She didn't mind. All artists are not like us. She did not mind working with us. But we had some changes, and we appreciate it. And she know I wanted 20 people. But she did good, give me 12. She gave me 12. So, from us to you, Chapel Hill, Carborough, Area Alumni, and just the community, we just want to say thank you, Kiara, and we know we're going to see more of our work. village that raised me. Thank you all for your presence here today. I am certainly humbled and honored for this recognition. 
thank you to the organizations who collaborated to make this tribute a reality. And I extend my gratitude to the sensational and remarkable artist, Kara Sanders, and to Mr. Robert Rigsby and Ms. Colleen Rogers, whose father built this building. You know, as I stand in this space amid my childhood neighborhoods, North Side and Pine Knolls, I am reminded of the sacrifices made for and made by African Americans in this greater community to ensure opportunity and access. From integrating public schools to integrating public accommodations. So many whose faces don't appear in public spaces and whose stories are not appearing in print, but their influence and their impact on this community are still felt today. It was and is on their shoulders that I climbed, peered over, and on which I and so many others now stand. Amen. Amen. I was blessed to know many of the heroes and sheroes depicted on this wall. They taught us respect and responsibility, diligence and discipline. They offered advice when requested and admonishment when necessary, nurtured and encouraged us with nods and nudges. The word of God in Luke 12, 48 tells us that to whom much is given, much is required. It has been an honor and privilege to give back to a community that has given so much to me. And I can assure you that what I have received pales in comparison to what I have been able to give. So I thank you for this opportunity to serve you and for this most humble honor. bring forward our former mayor and our former senator and my still today mentor, Howard Henry. Thank you very much, Senator. Appreciate it. I feel so much better that, that you're in Raleigh, but I extend my sympathy and my heartfelt concern that you've got to deal with some of the people over there. That you've got to deal with. First, I'd like to express congratulations and appreciation to Ms. Tierra Sarkis. Second, I'd like to express my appreciation to Ms. Diane Pleasure and the Delta Sigma Thales for the initiative they've taken in bringing this project forward. Our do youngest daughter, uh, who lives in Muncie, Indiana, is, is Delta. So she would be very proud to know that her sorority has made such a tremendous contribution uh, to history in, the, in, in Chapel Hill. You know, of all the things that I expected, I would experience in life, it did not occur to me someday I'd look on the wall and see my picture. <laughs> when I was growing up, my parents always said, make sure your picture is never in the post office on the post office. <laughs> and I worked hard to do that. But history is so important. As I look around to this crowd, we didn't have the kind of role models who had succeeded at very high levels uh, when we were growing up. But we had some of the best role models that one could have that influenced our lives. And they took what little resources they had and they used those resources to build monuments. And it is those monumental models that has been inspiration to many of us who are here in this work, uh, in this uh, attendance today. I think about uh, Coach Pierre. 
who took a small black high school and transformed its football program into one of the top football programs in the state of North Carolina. I thank the Reverend John Manning, who really contributed handsomely to Chapel Hill. So you have to understand that my wife Lillian and I were not born and raised in Chapel Hill. We chose Chapel Hill to be our home. And we had to learn a lot of what many people had contributed. But I think of some who cannot be here and whom we cannot highlight. I think of Miss Rebecca Clark, yeah. uh, who contributed so much to this community. I think of my good friend, R.D. Smith, uh, who is a giant among people in North Carolina. And I think of Mr. Hubert Robinson, who was a trailblazer in the city, uh, who broke down the barriers of the city council. And you can't put everybody on a wall, and you can't capture everybody in a picture. But what we have to do as people is to try and instill in our young people who these people are, what they did, how much they contributed to them as they grow up even here today. So there's much to say. I know I, I got Ms. Brown's message. This is not supposed to be a speech. And, and my wife is already giving me the cut which she loves to do. Uh, and she can sit in the audience and boy, she just worries me to death sometimes. <laughs> so finally, let me, let me wrap up seriously and say that what can we give our kids today to push them forward? First of all, tell them to dream of things that have never been and go out and fulfill those dreams so that they will be. Tell them that they can be inspired by their dreams. They can be motivated by hope. And let's give our kids a sense of confidence. But more importantly, they must be sustained by faith. Faith in themselves, faith in their God, faith in each other, and faith in the future that they can contribute to. So thank you all for making this possible. It is such a wonderful experience to be able to be here with all of you today. And I'm just delighted that I can play a small part in helping to contribute to where we are. Now, my role is to say to you, any good celebration should end with drinking and being merry. <laughs> so there are cookies over here, there are bottles of water, strong as you're going to get today. <laughs> so please feel free uh, to partake of the of the uh, vittles that are here. Thank you. Introduce yourselves. Um, people are going to take pictures, take photos. Um, members of Delta Sigma Theta, we would like to get a picture in front of the mural. And um, Soros, if you all come now, and so we can get out of y'all's way, because we can, we kind of funny sometimes. So let, let us come and get this picture, and we'll get out of y'all's way. Soros, if you will come now.